So this was the syntax for web, web forms view engine, which we are working now. It should be written along with the server tags. Whatever the statements comes comes here between these percentile symbols, and uh, this is the open tag and this is the close tag. So this is the syntax for web forms view engine. So let us see an example how to work with it. And web forms view engine, what it supports? It supports only uh, single line statements. Single line blocks called as single line blocks and multi line blocks. Single line blocks means coming statements will come along with this. Single line blocks here is nothing but only one statement that means statement one terminated with a semicolon like this okay and uh, multi line blocks means nothing but it comes with multi lines statement one again second line statement two third line another statement like that and again the server tag will be closed percentile and server tag and how will you write comments comment means you will write like this Comments you will write within like backslash, backslash star. If any statement is there, statement one and uh, statement two. Statement. All this will be commented like this. If you put along with backslash and star, again hash trick and backslash. So this is the how how you will comment using this statement and this statement. And if any statements are there, you will like uh, write like this along statement one here statement two along with this percentile symbol and uh, closing of the server tag this is called as opening of server tag and closing of server tag and comments will be right along with this backslash star and star backslash okay so this is the way how we will put with single line multi line blocks and razor statement should be written only along with the html tags only you cannot write it along uh, outside the html tags you have to write it within the html tags only let us quickly see an example how to work with this uh, web forms view engine. Let's take a Visual Studio IDE. Let's open it and uh, we'll see how to work out an example using this web forms view engine now. Just open the Visual Studio IDE and check it. And web forms view engine come with an extension of .aspx similar to our web forms. That is Active Server Pages XML. So, just opening, click on File, New Project. File, New Project. So, select the language as 4.5 here, framework as 4.5 and web ISP.NET MVC4 application and your this is an example 8 let's put it like example 8 so click on ok here the project template will be open for you now take it as basic only see here the view engine is ASPX now select the view engine as ASPX for Razor and ASPX, same, a basic ASP.NET MVC4 project. It's a basic MVC4. Instead of, in spite of Razor, here you are taking as ASPX. So uncheck this create a unit test project, which makes a project as a test project, which creates a dummy project for you. Uncheck this text checkbox and click on, just click on OK. Now a template will be open for you. Empty template. It opens the project. It is the creating the project example 8. With, an, with all the empty controllers and uh, 
empty views. You need to create your folders, own folders in views, like home, in previous sessions, how we have done, same we have, we have to do like that only. In the view folder, you need to add a home folder and create your views. With, no, but the views created here will come with an extension of .aspx. That is the main difference. So it is added in the DLL files for you, adding entity framework 5.0 if we observe down, adding entity framework 5.0 to the project. Because it is 4.5 version, it is entity framework 5.0. It is adding the DLL projects to your project. Adding jQuery to the project, it will add several uh, DLL files. See jQuery it is adding. And uh, Newton.json, MVC Web API. These are all the DLL files. It will add a knockout.js and the project creation was successful. Okay. Now go to the solution explorer and check the views folder. Just it is empty now. Go to the views, shade will be there. So dot aspx page, no problem. Right click on views, add new folder. First you need to have a folder to access your web pages. So create home folder, right click on home folder, add again a view, give you a name as sample one. So aspx c -sharp, view is aspx c -sharp. no need for a layout or master page, just click on add, now page sample one will be created with an extension of dot aspx, that is the web forms view engine. As it is first time it is taking some time to create. Okay, so it has created the page like this and uh, see here this is the namespace which I was talking about this is the uh, this was the class which will it, class it is it is an inherited from it inherits this class system dot web dot mvc dot web forms view engine this was the class which I was talking about system dot web dot mvc dot view page okay just come to div tag and now in, uh, we will write single line block quotes like this just open the server tag and close it it is automatically close the tag you can watch it just I opened it it has closed within this you need to write declare your variables in a equal to 10 these are all single line block quotes come here again just click on percentile double I am declaring another statement double b equal to 20.5 semicolon again percentile string s equal to psi this and uh, again I told I, I told response that right this was the difference I was telling at the very first time at the right response of dot right you need to write, write response dot right for this for printing all these values how will you print just this is the statement written in double quotes value of a is you need to concatenate that variable plus a just copy it Paste it. Value of B is make it as B local variable and uh, response dot write value of C is here you will get C. I'm sorry, S was there actually. S S is your local variable. So this is how you'll write the code. Every time you need to write response dot write. Whereas in razor, how you used to write? Just you need to put at the rate, and you need to give the variable name at the rate like this. You need to you need to you have to uh, just you need to, you you are writing like this value of a is like this. You used to write there. Here every time you need to write response dot write response dot write. That is the thing which is making it heavyweight. This is the traditional code how we used to write along with our active server pages. Response dot write, response dot write. 
with our sp.net also we used to write response dot write line like that that is the thing okay so now it prints the values so we don't have a action method we need to create a controller first with the same name home here add controller as home controller because in views home folder is there we need to create the same name like home con home we need to create the controller also with the same name do it as home everything is same you will be having all these options as whatever you are getting in the razor engine you will be getting all these options select it as empty mvc controller and click on add just now a controller will be added home index is the default okay your view name was sample1 dot aspx this is sample1 dot aspx this was your view so you need to access your view now so you need to you need to also have an action method please copy it and paste this so sample1 was your method just copy it and paste this now you need to go to routeconfig.cs and change the route config.cs file to register your route there so that uh, uh, this web forms view view engine compiler will understand that it has to be routed to sample one action method from there it has to return the view of sample one so go to route config.cs where it will be it will be under app underscore start folder go to route config.cs come to controller as home which is the default name change it as index to sample one so now the compiler will be understanding where to go that is compiler of webforms view engine dot aspx view engine webforms view engine press on f5 now see the output how you will be getting flow is everything is same when same as razor view engine only only the thing is where you write while you write the code you will become you will be getting this only within this percentile that is this server tags open tag and close tag along with this you need to write this statements that is the difference and the pages created will be coming with an extension of dot aspx that is the main difference okay let's see we'll we'll get the output so what is the main disadvantage is every time we need to repeat the code like response dot right line response dot right line like that that is a disadvantage and makes the programming language very heavy compared to razor engine where you, we used to simply write at the rate colon and uh, whatever the statements you want we want to give we used to give there and moreover we we can write we can write we have to write the code compulsorily along with in webforms engine the main disadvantage is we have to write the code compulsorily along with html tags only we can't write the code outside the html tags whereas whereas in razor view engine we can write the code outside outside the html tags also that was the advantage okay so we'll check whether we got output or not okay let's check it it has been mapped to some other folder just a minute let's change this port number here click on solution explorer properties on web it's 1032 make it as 1347 now execute it 
three space seven F I. Now we'll get the output. Let's check whether our data aspects file is uh, being executed or not. That is sample one data aspects. See, you are getting the output. Value of A is 10. Value of B is 20. 20.5. Value of S is I. That is, it is displaying all the values. Okay. So our output has got executed now with sample one data aspects. This is how we work with web forms engine. Okay, this is how we work with the web form switch in. That is the main advantage. Uh, disadvantage that every time we will write the code along with response dot write, response dot write. This has this increase the uh, weightage of the program. So it is very advantageous the code along with the reserve engine. But this was the traditional programming which was introduced along with the MVC 1.0. We we used to write the code like this only with MVC 1.0 versions. Okay. So this is how we worked uh, using uh, Web Forms View Engine. There is no much need to discuss about this Web Forms View Engine also because in real time you will be using only the Razor View Engine. And we also discussed the differences between Razor View Engine and Web Forms View Engine. Now, and in again tomorrow's session, we will see how to work with View Page class. View Page class and what is a view page class and uh, how to transfer the data from controller to the view we have seen already but uh, i'll i'll tell you what is a we have seen already how to pass the data from controller to the view we have seen already the data to how to pass from controller to view but uh, i'll detail explain you what is a view page class and uh, how to pass data from controller to view in yesterday's class i told you how to pass the data from controller to view by using view bag and uh, model but i will explain you what is a view data in next class i will explain you what is a view data what is a view data and uh, what is a view bag how it carries the data from controller to view and what is a temp data these are the three different ways how we can pass the data from controller to views we can also pass the data from controller to view using view, view bag and uh, model we have just seen the view bag uh, in previous class and uh, we have also seen a small program how to compile with model how to uh, how the controller gets the data and goes to the model and gets the data. Those were the static values we worked with. We can also work with the dynamic values. While we go to the entity data model, we will find we only worked with the static values. That is the fixed values we have given in the properties. We can also work with the dynamic values. That is getting the data from the database. That is called as dynamic. We can we can work on the model at that time while we discuss the model. As of now, I will discuss how what is a view data, view bag, and temp data. These are the three ways how we can pass the data from controller to the view. In next session, we will see it detailly.